So I have heard you have a fish farm here. Yes, so you're welcome, boss. Thank you, sir. Amazing. <laughs> this is uh, the school fish farm. Belongs to the school? Yes, it belongs to the school. Yes. Wow. Sometimes so, uh -huh. we, we, we do this to recycle the water. What you are doing? Yes, what I'm doing. I'm, I want to recycle it. And I, I want to I will want to let it, you know, bubbles uh, so that it will produce more oxygen for the for fish. The, wow. Yes. yes. So you see it right now. So say what is what is the story behind this fish? Yeah, it all started one year ago. Just when, a year. Just a year. Yes, just a year. When the headmaster or honorable headmaster, Mr. Techi. They went for headmaster's meeting and it was suggested there that all the schools will do some uh, some projects to help the school so and uh, by then too i already have a small knowledge in the fish farming mm. so when the headmaster came back we have decided that we should do the fish farming and then do mushroom and then also do snails so the down there is for the snails this place is for the mushroom and then this place is for the fish so as you can see the fish we are on it and then it's moving it's booming uh -huh. okay. so i'm going to recycle the water wow uh, okay. uh, so as it's doing this way you know it's giving the fish more oxygen, oxygen. Uh -huh. so they like it this way as the water is bubbling and then we also recycle it if I want to this, I think I'll connect this pipe to this and then direct it to this place. So as the water from here is coming here, there's a pipe under. It takes it from there and send it to the back of the girls. Mm. That, that, that place needs to water our vehicle, our school vehicle. So it's connected from here to the back of the yes. girls? Yes. Wow. Yes. 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 So this is how it all started. Have you harvested some before? Yeah, so we have harvested. So far, we started with 500 finger leaves. And then at a point, we selected the bigger ones, like a month ago. We selected 57 of the bigger ones and then we sold them out. Even today, we sold 36 this morning. Yeah, the rest are sold there. Uh -huh. So, how do you advertise it to the public that you have something like this? Oh, the public, hmm. the area when they are passing by. You know, some they see the place and they ask questions, and oh, then okay. through that we get market. And okay. even on uh, Facebook, Facebook, yes, yes. Uh, this lady who came today to come and buy, I got to know, we got to know her on Facebook, and then she came all the way. Through. So yeah, I think the uh, but before that, you see, we have some here. Yeah, we have some of the pieces. Um, here. Uh, let's go. Let you, me show you more. You said you started <laughs> with how many? With five hundred. Five, and now you have how many? Oh, right now we have more because uh, we ourselves we produce them ourselves along the line. We also learn how to produce the finger leaves ourselves. I have the finger leaves in this container. They are very small, small. We can go there, you have a look at them. So, like, you break uh, them? Yes. Ah. We take the male catfish and then the female catfish. We they take, produce? Yeah, we take the stem from the male one and then the egg from the female. We mix them together and then we produce the small one. Yeah. The student, most of the students are going to do that. I have with my student who can do that. Yes. So, come. We have GA. We have some of have them here. here too. Yes. We have here plenty. We have here too. Hey, then they are more than 500 now. Oh, now they are more than 500. Now we are more. We are more. They are more. I have they to advertise growing. this thing for yes. you. So At least you can come market. here too. And this is the bigger one we use for hatching. Uh -huh. At least if you want to. Oh, this is a huge. Old. Yes, they, they must be one year and above. So this is the one that we use for that way. Huh. Uh -huh. Uh, as you can see, most of them have already taken the eggs already. So this one, you don't sell them? No, 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 no. Okay. This one, I want them to be here five years, six years. So they become not, bigger than this. Very big, very big, very big, mm, very big. And, wow. and so you see, we have also nest some of the vegetables. We have lettuce, cabbage, and the rest. And this one, where will you plant them? We we'll plant them at the back where we divert the water to. So it's not just a fish farm. You also have yes, plants. Yes, plants at the back of the the girls. Uh -huh. So these are we have nice some of the vegetables here. We we'll transplant. We we'll send them to the new girls. And this one we did it because snails. 
snail. Some of the snail they come and they eat the feed on the and the vegetables, the next one. So we cover with the mosquito net to prevent the snails <laughs> from entering. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The farm okay. is it big? Uh yes, it's big. We we, we just clear the place down. What, what do you have there? We have you no know, we are prepared the place down. Okay, it so you're not coming to yes, oh, okay, 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 uh, okay. We have our because of space, we have the uh, hatching where we do the hatching our lab, mm. not here, somewhere else. And so when we had them, we bring them here. And then the agri students are in two. Uh, some of the the small small things are here. Yeah, in this one. Yes, they are in this one. So you can <laughs> it's have not easy. Oh. Uh, this like one, they are, yeah, they are like three weeks old. They are so very young. Uh, wow. Uh, so this way, yeah, and we still have some of them there. These are like two, one and a half month old. They are not big like the other ones. Uh, and then at the other end. Do they bite? No, 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 not at all. They uh -huh. don't. We don't. I, I, I'll even help you. Let me see. We don't. <laughs> they even, can use your pain to. Yes, if you don't uh, you? hold them well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me try and see if I can so get nice one of the bigger ones. Mm -hmm. I want to see if we can get. I can try and get one of the bigger ones out for you. Very difficult to especially when the water is wet. <laughs> this one will be like one kilo. One, one kilo? Yes. Yeah, one kilo is like how much? Currently, one kilo is 30 cities when you are buying from us. But when you go to point and kill, you can get one kilo as high as 70 cities, 80 cities. Hey. Yeah, I'm telling you. Then do your own point and kill. That is will maybe uh, that will be our <laughs> next project. <laughs> that will be our next project. Let me also introduce you to the feed, the kind of feed we give them. Uh, the feed they are in the market we buy and they are here quickly. Um, uh -huh. And this is for the, the very ones. small ones. Uh -huh. Very small ones. Um, and then this is 2 mm. The 2 mm we the give it to these ones. Uh, this one. The very big one we give them 6 mm and 8 mm. And they are here. Yes. Amazing. Uh, it's in the market. We buy them in the market. Uh, but we are trying to even produce our own feed very soon. They, they use what to? They use uh, soya beans, maize, oh, okay. and other things to produce it. Yes. yes. And everything is happening here at Adyembra. I'm telling you. And then we have a wonderful uh, plant to this thing. We call it snake tomatoes. Snake tomatoes. We use it at the place of tomatoes when there's no tomatoes. This one? Yes. At a point, it will grow very big. At a point, it will change into yellowish, reddish color. Then when you blend it, it's just like tomatoes. No difference. Yes. So we are now, we have planted it more. Very soon, we shall start even eating it using it in the night. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will love to taste it. <laughs> to oh, don't it worry. When like. it is ready, I will get you one. Even this one, the way it is now, you can be harvest it and use it like garden egg. Um, yeah. 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 Amazing. Yeah. Yes. It's a very beautiful fish farm you have over here. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Even though it's small, but it's, it is it is beautiful. It has really evolved because he told me you started with just 500 fingerlings. Yes. And it's grown to this number of fishes you have here yeah so what what inspired you what made you make the step to start this project a whole lot a whole lot um 
in the first place, uh, it's an in initiative from our regional director. She's a very industrial lady. And so I remember one of our meetings as heads. She suggested that we try and uh, do something in addition to the classroom knowledge that we give to our students. Mm -hmm. And so I sat down and I said, why don't I come up with something uh, that will be of great benefit to the school and especially to the students that we are nurturing. You know, we have in mind that we want to train them to become achievers as we have it in our vision and mission statement. And so by the time somebody goes through education over here and goes out, we want the person to have something at the fingertips, apart from the knowledge that we give to them. And so we decided that we come up with this fish farming project, in addition to some other projects that we have over here. And so basically that is how it came about. It's uh, emanated from the initiatives that our regional director, Mrs. Felicia Ejebiokan, came up with. Then we sat down and thought that why didn't we come up with something like that? And so that's the basis Amazing. of the foundation. So, sir, um, how has this initiative helped the school administration and the student body? Um, it's very interesting. You know, our joy is in the fact that the students are learning. Uh, so when they leave here, those who have the opportunity would add it to their suite. Uh, that is what makes us happy. Uh, we started it not long ago, it's barely one year, and we haven't reaped that much, even though we have done some sales. We haven't done so much, but the joy is that the students are learning. Some have completed and they are gone. I'm sure when they come up with uh, some funds, they can start on their own, in addition to their education. Sure. Uh, you see some students around, they are also learning. So at the end of the day, they will tell a friend, a friend will tell a friend, and... Uh, who knows so the it, multiplication it, that it, it, it's here. actually a hand skill job you are providing for the student yeah. before they even finish school and then go to their various that's it. houses. Yeah, that is what makes us happy. Amazing. So it's not just the money that uh, we are making. You see, that it's a small area, even though we have a lot of uh, containers around, yes. uh -huh, but the knowledge we are, the, the practical, the practical uh, aspects aspect. that we are giving. You know, we, as I said initially. We intend to develop them holistically, not only the book knowledge. Mm. Uh -huh. We want them to have skills on hand that, they, in addition to the knowledge that we are giving them, uh -huh, venture into many areas. So that is the joy. We are living with skills, with knowledge, and everything. So that is our joy. We have done some sales, and uh, yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, yeah. we <laughs> intend. Uh, I have to come in to help you advertise more. this. Yes, yes. We doing more, so. We are benefiting from the sales that we are making out of it, and also, more importantly, the knowledge that we are giving the, knowledge that we the students. Yeah. So, so and we don't have workers; it's the students themselves who are working over here. Uh -huh. So you can imagine the and the place yeah. is so clean. It's so clean. It's so neat. Yes, you can. It's so neat to the school. You can trust at the end. Amazing. You can trust at the end. Amazing. Yes. So, so, so what 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 word do you have for um your sister schools, schools around who are watching? Um, this video, yeah. Uh, if you look at our terrain, the land, you see that we are in one way or the other incapacitated when it comes to space. But we have sat down to think of the fact that let's do something in addition to the knowledge that we have been giving the students in class. And so, if Adiemra, a small place in terms of the land size, we are doing this, it means that. They can also sit down and devise something to help the students. And so I will humbly urge them that they should sit down. I know some other schools are, are, are doing it, and are doing something. Else. I know of Dabuase, Seko, and others. We are taking inspiration from them. And so others who are not into any other venture apart from the classroom knowledge that they give the students, we will humbly urge them that they should sit down, take inspiration from the initiative that our Ibu Regional Director of Education has given us and do something so that at the end of the day the students when they go out they will mention our names i know they will mention my name they will mention the name of mr mccaffrey and other groups that are mr. Mr. helping mr. and that is what makes my joy and so i will humbly urge them to do something not necessarily 
uh, fish farming, but something that will add on to the knowledge that uh, are being given to the students. So, uh, are there some challenges you're facing and specific supports you need to make this one even bigger? For the challenges, a whole lot. If you want to itemize them, uh, <laughs> a whole lot. But we don't concentrate on our challenges. We, we always look at what we can give out. So for challenges, as is, we have a lot of them, a lot of them. Uh, you know, the students over here, uh -huh, we are prepared to work on any kind of student that you give us to come up with something good. Uh -huh. And so, uh, from humble backgrounds, finance, from parents and donors, it's quite difficult to come by. And so when it comes to finance, we are really challenged. We depend solely on government and few donors. And so we need money to be able to expand what you are seeing around. So that in addition to the knowledge, as I indicated earlier on, that we are giving the students, we can make it big so that quite a lot of them can benefit from the knowledge, the skills that we are giving out. So, uh -huh. uh, as an institution like this, we, do, we don't have an assembly hall. And so you can amazing. imagine where we have gatherings. And you are making all the A's here. You can imagine. Uh -huh. <laughs> the, we haven't received the, the provisional results from WAIC, but at least we are getting uh, information from our students who just completed. And it's just amazing. It's just an am amazing something that we have. And so we are doing all that we, we, we can as an institution, especially the workers over here, the teachers and the teaching staff. Our students are also law abiding. We will find one or two who uh, veer off a bit, but generally the students are doing so well. They are law abiding, and I thank them for that. I pray that they will continue to be law abiding, listen to us, and come out with flying colors so that they can also be responsible adults in the future. Amazing. Yes. Let me take this opportunity to thank our regional director of education. Yeah, he's really been supportive, uh -huh. a lot of initiatives. And I also want to thank my staff for all their support. Mr. McCarthy is being so great. And of course, my students, my able students. I, I, I really love them. I pray that they will be law abiding so that we can push the name of the school. And the general public, if you are an old student, you are hearing us, come and support us. Sure. We humbly want to plead with all donors that this school has a lot of potentials. You should come and support us so that we can bring the youth of Ghana up to be of great benefit for this nation. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Yes. So this is, um, here is at Diembra Senior High School. A whole lot is That's happening it. here and you've yeah. seen a lot. What can you contribute to make this thing bigger? The headmaster will be waiting for you. Get in touch and let's keep making the region a very good one. And bye.